And if you look at the gross margins for whey, might not yet be positive, but we're getting there. If you look at it, the casein might not yet be positive, but we're getting there. And for lactoferrin, we're already there. Now, for the moment that we've all been waiting for, the world's first sustainably produced lactoferrin. Singaporean company Turtle Tree has announced a multi-year strategic partnership with Strive. We've tried their milk. Their nutrition company focused on providing sustainable protein-rich beverages that are better tasting, more nutritious, and better for the planet. Strive currently offers free milk, a true milk alternative with fermentation-derived protein, the whey protein from Perfect Day, and now, through the partnership with Turtle Tree, plans to expand into additional products, including an immunity support beverage aimed at adult nutrition, as well as a ready-to-mix protein powder. Both will include Turtle Tree's lactoferrin. Milk is a really complex liquid. It's full of fats and minerals and proteins, many of which are really good for us. And one of the best proteins around is lactoferrin. We could all do with having more of that in our diet. The thing is, it only really comes from animal milk, so it's really hard to make more of it to put in other stuff. Well, that is until now, because these guys have worked out how to do it. This is lactoferrin. It's been called pink gold. Pink because of the iron, and gold because it's rare and expensive. But this company, Turtle Tree, is finalizing a way of mass producing it, not from cows, and not even from cow cells. No, they're fermenting it using yeast. The process is pretty similar to, you know, brewing. So these are large fermentation tanks that will be culturing the yeast cells, and each of those cells acts like a little factory, basically producing the lactoferrin. The secret here is that the yeast has been genetically modified. Turtle Tree has taken the genes from cow DNA that are responsible for making lactoferrin and transplanted them into the DNA of yeast cells. Find the right strain of yeast, brew it in the right conditions, and you've got yourself something called precision fermentation, with the yeast producing far more of the protein than you'd be able to get from milk. Cow's milk has um, very little lactoferrin in it in terms of concentration. So you need something like 10,000 liters of cow's milk to get just one kilogram of lactoferrin. Lactoferrin is used in a variety of products presently. Most of it goes into infant formula, which is great because it really increases the nutritional value of that infant formula. Unfortunately, only about 5% of infant formulas have lactoferrin because it's so expensive and it's in such limited supply. But the other issue with cow's milk is that Lactoferrin and other bioactive proteins in the cow's milk are actually really sensitive to heat. So the majority of them get broken down during pasteurization. So even if you're drinking cow's milk, you're not benefiting from th like getting things like lactoferrin. When it launches its product at the end of the year, Turtle Tree says the precision fermentation process should make the protein cheap and abundant enough to add to lots of products like sports drinks and of course, plant-based milk like oat and almond milk, and all without the need for animals or the land for grazing and feeding them. Now the company's cracked lactoferrin, it's starting to work on other proteins that are normally found in milk, which could then be added to other things that are not milk. There will be people, consumers, for whom this sounds like unnatural. What would you say to them even though it's not coming directly from cow's milk, it is actually the same protein. So what we're showing is that it's so similar and there's so much experience with cow's milk derived lactoferrin. We're showing that this structurally is the same and functionally is the same because it's already in the food system. We're already consuming it. Pretty cool. One more protein building block for milk that is now being made using precision fermentation. Thanks as always for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.